Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for another day at the Panthers show. I want to welcome my regular co-host, Bryson. How you doing today? <laughs> good. Tired. That's good. I want to remind our viewers out there that today is our last show. Yup. This might be the last time. Well, it ain't going to be the last time you see Bryson, but uh, he'll probably come on again as a guest. But I think this brother did very well <laughs> uh, this year. Um, I want to thank Kyra for uh, joining us this year and Martell and all of our regular guests that came in this season. I want to thank everybody. Um, so, uh, let me start off by letting everybody know that we represent the Barbara A. Sizemore Academy over on 6547 South Stewart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 606-21-773-651-1661, or you can reach us on the web at www.bsics.org. So, I don't know today, Bryson... Mm -hmm. It's almost it's springtime. Things yeah. is, is uh winding down in the school year. So how's your school year been so far? Uh, so far my school year's been good. All A's and B's on their cart port card. You didn't get uh, put in no lockers or nothing this year. <laughs> no, we don't even have lockers. You didn't get bullied nah. or nothing. Nah, it's been actually a good year. So you've been getting A's and B's. Yep. What did you get in my class last this last real? I think I got a B. Was it a B? I think I got a, yeah, yeah it was a B. Out. You lucked out. It was a B. It was a B. <laughs> I, I was supposed to get an A, but then you, but then you said that I did this paper wrong. Yeah. That well, I, that Mama I, Tyler. Great that job I, that right. I plagiarized or something like that, and I knew I did <laughs> a it. A lot of copy and pasting. No. So you lucked out though. But nah, I mean, other than that though, I mean, you've been doing pretty good this year. Yeah. What about your uh? What's the uh, test scores? Yeah. What was it? The in. Uh, the NWA, NWA, the NWA test scores. How'd you do this? Uh, this year I got the highest in my class. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was mm, pretty lucky. Is Not that lucky in which year. subject? Uh, in reading. Oh, in math. I got the second highest. Oh, in my class. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
pay oh, and cool. get the dirt and do all that stuff, man. There's different ways to do it, but and then it's like if you find the diamonds, a lot of diamonds there, um, because it used to be a volcano that erupted, you know, a million years ago and it brought mm. all of the elements up. So now it's just kind of like some flat land, and a lot of people go out there and you know mine, and it just pay it might pay like five six bucks to get into the park, but whatever you find out there, you get to keep. So mm -hmm. a lot of people have found diamonds that's cool. out there. That's one thing I want to do this, this summer. Um, another, I want to go back home to California and go visit um, some family, mm -hmm. go hang out for a week or two, uh, travel up and down the West Coast, go get some some good California sun in. <laughs> and yeah, uh, cool, also, man. too, I want to go down to the Grand Canyon uh, down in, uh, towards uh, Colorado and Arizona and all that. Check out the Grand, Ca Grand Canyon. I've always got a chance to see it on TV and on Google Earth, but I, I just want to go down there and see it for myself. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, I mean, uh, do you do trips like that, like, over the summer? Like, what are some? Uh, during the summer, not really. Have family. you been on any, like, summertime trips before that you remember? I don't remember, no, I don't really don't. What? Like, oh, like, uh, my family, my mom, actually, like, we just, like, Go go from Michigan. Sometimes during the summer we go to Michigan because like we have a lot of friends there. Okay. Yeah. We got a caller. A caller, are you there? Hey, um, this is Martel. I couldn't make it there today. Yeah, hey, what up, Martel? Um, what's up? Um, I wanted to thank Can TV. You know, I couldn't be there today for being a, on the show. Thank you, Barbara Eric, for um giving me this opportunity and thank yeah no problem brother that's a uh, young martell on the <laughs> phone he couldn't be with us today but he here <laughs> with us on the phone but uh that's good you know i want to thank martell for uh being a part of the show um i know he'll be he'll be graduating this year going into high school so um we'll probably bring martell you and martell back like for in a couple more seasons just as like some special guests or something you know <laughs> check in with you i'm gonna keep it ro i'm gonna rotate a, a new three in but I, i'm gonna still definitely bring y'all down to come check in and see how y'all doing i mean you do plan on going to uh boston next year right well, I don't know. I'm still don't know thinking. about it. I'm still thinking. You want, uh, I mean, I'm sure Boston challenges you academically, right? Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's real good. You should stay there. I mean, you only got, like, what, one more year? Yeah, I'm in seven no, it would be. There wouldn't be no need to go to another school and, and do one year and then off to high school. Man. That is a lot of hassle. Yeah, you may as well just go on and stick with it, man. Come on back with Baba Eric. <laughs> But um, I'm going to roll into a video real quick. Um, this was a video uh, done by the fifth grade girls. We worked on some PSAs, some public service announcements. I'm going to play one that they did. Uh. One day there was a girl named Natasha. She was new to the school. There were three girls at the school that picked on her every day, calling her stupid and ugly. One day, the girls decided to play a prank on Latasha. The girls invited her to a party, but they were only being mean to her. Hey, hey, hey. my name is Latasha. Are you new to the school? Yeah. Oh, we have this party this weekend, so you want to come? Sure. What's your name? Hey, what's your name? This was Latasha breaking point. She ran to the bathroom with a bottle of peels, ready to kill herself.
before she did it. A girl named Jessica came in the bathroom. Save a friend before you lose one. Bullying can kill. Oh. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was pretty powerful right yeah. there. That was a, a PSA that we worked on. Some of the fifth graders over at BASA came up with that uh, bullying PSA. What did you think about that? Uh, that was powerful because a lot of people actually kill themselves over bullying that happens like through various schools it was actually really it was, it was actually really cool that you guys like, n n acknowledge that and see that people actually to bring them up say oh stop don't do that yeah i mean it's been um it's it's some real statistics on um on bullying these days like uh i can't remember but i believe 70 about 70 percent of students um, have admitted to being bullied at some point in their school age years. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's it, I I kind of like going to the next gear where um, sometimes people, like you mentioned, people sometimes kill themselves or yeah. they come to the school and shoot up the school or yeah. kill other people. What do, What do you think about that? Like, um, I, I I know like last week. Across the nation, then you hear about the big yeah. uh, walk out and yeah. marches. I actually had, over I actually had a friends who participated in it. What did they do actually? Uh, so like they just wa they just walked out to to like say that we're tired of the gun. I, it was like a gun violence march, mm -hmm. I think. Like they walked out saying like, "Oh, I'm tired of the gun mar gun and the gun march, the gun <laughs> gun violence, <laughs> change the gun laws and everything like that." And I, it was actually really powerful to see that young people actually cared. Yeah, I, I saw too, like about two weeks ago, a lot of um, students, well, a lot of people put shoes out on the white at the White House. Did you see that? No, I didn't. So it was um, out at the White House in D.C. I mean, there were thousands, I mean, like literally thousands of pairs of shoes that represent that's supposed to represent a child who's been killed by gun violence. Oh, wow. So they put the shoes on the White House lawn. I oh, mean, it was pretty powerful. Then this last week, uh, a few days ago, uh, the nation, across the nation, you know, they had the walkouts. There mm -hmm. were a lot of demonstrations. There were some in Chicago, D.C., California, just like all over the country. Yeah. So, I mean, as a youngster growing up, you know, you about to go to high school pretty soon, man. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you ever, does that ever cross your mind or do you ever uh, think of those type of things of, of like being, un, I'll just say being unsafe at school, not at BASA, but just in general, do you ever feel like, um, you ever worry about that? Like one day I might get into high school and, and just feel unsafe? Uh, yeah, it, like it crosses my mind sometimes, but mm -hmm. at the same time is like, Whatever it matters, like, you can be yourself. It doesn't matter if they don't like you or not. Mm -hmm. So, like, even that does cross my mind. It's just, like, I just block it out sometimes. Yeah, I mean, like, do you ever, have you ever come across people that you, um, and I'm, I'm not throwing this at it just any particular school, but just in general, general, do you come across people that, that may look unstable to you or you might say, man, now this dude look kind of crazy, man. He might, yeah. might want to do something. Because sometimes I'm on the train and I feel like that. And then, you know, I get home and watch the news. And, you know, it's people getting stabbed on the train, man, and That's robbed in, in broad daylight. Uh, you know, coming from work or coming from school. I mean, what? how do you... What's your take on that? Like, do you think that um, the gun laws should change uh, in this country? Uh, I don't know much about the gun laws, but whatever people are, like, saying, like, oh, it needs to change, I guess it does. Like, whatever, like, there's the gun laws are missing out on. Well, I mean, I guess the main argument is um, 
So, you know, the uh, in the Constitution it says that everyone has the right to bear arms, meaning that everyone has the legal right to carry a gun if you want to. Even children? Not children, I'm saying, but they have a, you have to be like 21 or okay. 18 in some, you know, okay. most states. But I'm just saying, once you become 18, you have the legal right to have a gun. All so, right? what do they exactly want so to what I'm So, what my thing is, is, um, so, have you ever seen assault rifles, like, uh, what the military has? Like, you heard oh, of, yeah, like, I've an like, M16. Like yeah. I'm sure you play Call of Duty, <laughs> and, and you know about some of these these assault rifles. So, what the problem is, is that these are rifles and assault rifles that regular people can get. You know what yeah. I mean? So, they want to, they kind of want to ban that. They want to stop um, oh, people like, from being able to get assault rifles, you know, yeah. like military, <laughs> well, you could just go and one. just yeah, and just shoot up a lot of people. So that's what the real argument is. It's like banning assault rifles and making it harder for people to just even get, get guns. guns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you know, more extensive background check. If you have like a um, like right now, if you have a background and like battery, like say you beat your wife or something, or you did something to some kids, they yeah. won't allow you to, if you, they won't allow you to have a gun, or if you have a felony, you're not allowed to have a gun. Also, oh, that's why they're trying to strict the gun Yeah, laws. just make oh, it even okay. more stricter, you know, okay, just make it sense. harder. So, I mean, are you with that? How do you yeah, feel that, about that's, that? That sounds appropriate. Like, why would you give, why would you give, why would you let somebody get a gun that already has history of attacking right, and hurting I mean, people? Right, hurting people, exactly. So, the guy, the young man who shot up the high school a few months ago, he was 18 or 19, mm -hmm. and he was able to just go to a gun store and just buy guns, so, you know, they just trying to make it harder, like, they raising the age from 18 to 21, and just things like that, like, my personal uh, opinion is, I, I mean, I'm with banning some guns, you know, um, I, I'm with the amendment that everyone has the right to protect themselves, yeah. um, especially in your home, okay. protect um, others. and protect others, I, but I would say, like, no one does, no one really needs to have, like, an Uzi or uh, yeah. some kind of uh, M16 or AK-47, there's really no need for all that, I mean, but if you... Uh, by by the laws and and you are a law abiding citizen. I do believe that you should have the right to to bear arms. Um, they also are talking about um, since a lot of these shootings have been going on in schools. How do you feel? They're they're talking about having teachers with oh. guns in the classroom. <laughs> how do you feel about that? Would how I, I mean. Do would you feel comfortable with it knowing that your teacher has a gun? Uh, knowing that most students, like, wouldn't probably respect the teacher, they just fear the teacher, mm -hmm. which is really important. Like, you, you, you want the students to respect you, not fear you. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, I, it's kind of mixed feelings for that. One, you know, to protect the students, or protect herself, the student trying to act, well, attack I mean, her, him or her. Right. But still, it's kind of weird knowing, knowing that your that teacher has a gun. And yeah, they can attack any be. student anytime. Well, I, well, of course, you know, I would hope that a teacher wouldn't attack anyone with the gun. Uh, I would basically be for if there was an intruder yeah. that came into the school, teachers would be able to fight back um, and keep uh, the students safe, you know, mm -hmm. in the classroom because there were cases where someone stormed into the school and, you know, just started shooting up everybody. And usually it is a teacher who st steps to the door or steps in the hallway or somebody, the, an adult comes to the scene to see what's going on. And in some cases, they've been murdered, you know, yeah. trying to step in and, and save some kids. lives. Yeah, yeah so Sad. just arming a, a teacher is something that's on the table. That's what they've been talking about. So I just wanted to ask you what you thought about that. Like me personally as a teacher... I can't really say, uh, I, 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 I don't think I'd be any safer, um, I don't know, I can't really say I'd feel any safer in the classroom with a gun. For one, if if this, if I was working at a school that advised me to uh, arm myself, 
one, I'd be like, is this the type of environment I really need to be working in, first yeah. of all? Second, if um, I if don't a student think, try to take a... Yeah, I wouldn't even let my students know I had that because, yeah. especially in high school, you know, things happen and you don't want something to someone to go in your bag or something wherever you may have it you don't want to run the risk of it getting into the wrong finding yeah it and finding it and getting into the wrong hands so one even if i did have it nobody i'd be the only one that knew i'd had it and it would only come out in a in a Emergency. life or death yeah situation but yeah i just thought i'd ask you about that because that's just a hot topic right now um I want to remind everybody um, that we are the Barbara A. Sizemore Academy, located at 6547 South Stewart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. Uh, you can reach us by phone at 773-651-1661, or you can reach us on the web at www.bsics.org. So, um, winding down this last show, um, I want to tell everybody out there, too, over at the Betty Shabazz International Charter School, uh, there and at Barbara A. Sizemore Academy, we are recruiting um, for next year. Um, we want to encourage all the parents out there who want their child to get a good education, a good, healthy, uh, African culture-centered education. Bring them on in. Bring them down. You know, come see what Bossa and Betty Shabazz is about. I mean, um, I really enjoy it. I enjoy working there. Um, I enjoy the, uh, you know, the love that I get from the other teachers. Um, this is my first year teaching there. And uh, I really feel at home. I really like being around other people who take our African culture um, seriously. And... Hmm? I said it's rare. Yeah, yeah like a whole rare. school sitting around African African culture. Yeah, I mean, you see, I got on my dashiki <laughs> there. Every Monday, everyone wears African attire. You can wear African attire every day, but uh, we they encourage you. everybody yeah. to do it on Mondays. Um, I got to actually step up my dashiki game, you know. I um, need to go out and... Find me a couple more before the year ends. Yeah, I need to buy me one. I haven't worn a dashiki all year. You have one at home or you I, don't have No, one? the one I had last year ripped. Oh, okay. I used to wear it every Monday, but it ripped because it got too small. Like it's, like, it's like, it's really thin. So, like, every time I try to put it on, like, <laughs> Something it, it'll rip. rip. <laughs> so, like, it'll, it'll be difficult to put on and it'll rip. So, like, now I can't fit anymore. But yeah. now I can still fit. It's just a rip. Yeah, so I, I need to step my game up too, though. Like, give me a couple koofies and and uh, some some more daishikis. And I, I actually want to give me a nice little onk to come around, wear around my neck. Um, I used to wear one back in the day, but um, man, it's almost time to roll, Bryson. I um, I want to thank everybody again. I want to thank you, <laughs> thank Kyara. Thank Martell for calling in. I want to thank all of all his parents, too, for allowing y'all to come down. It um, was fun. It was fun. It was I mean, fun. this is a good experience, man. Like, this is something you could um, use on your resume. I mean, you actually helped produce a TV show, <laughs> you know? So um, that's something, like... Even though I we we didn't pay you or nothing, but you know it, it's a good. I, you got another little job too. What else do you do on Saturdays, man? Before we go. Tell oh me. yeah, I um help uh, my barber. Who's I, your barber? Uh, Mario. Yeah, y'all know Mario out there in Hyde Park, man. Y'all stop by the shop. You know that. What's the address over there? <laughs> <laughs> I did not remember. It's on every street, right? I think so. I yeah, it was like next on, to man. Museum yeah. of Science. It's next to Museum of Science. He, he like on 56 and every, yeah. you know, giving out some good haircuts. But, yes, yeah, um, time to wrap up. I want to thank uh, Kyara, Martel, Bryson, Mama Jocelyn, Mama Makita, uh, Mama Rika. Baba J. Baba J. He came down. Um, I want to thank Renaya. Um, who else had guessed Peyton. That? Peyton and all those bad fourth graders. <laughs> nah, but uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. And we'll see you in a couple months. This is the Panther Show. Peace. <laughs>